One of the more troubling characteristics of our current age is the urge to cut ourselves off from anything in our past. C.S. Lewis referred to this as chronological snobbery, which is basically the idea that we know everything today and those who came before us were ignorant and backward. This arrogant attitude is not only common, but it's now dominant. Nowhere does it show itself more clearly than in the left's fixation with erasing our nation's founding fathers. The argument goes something like this. America's founders were a bunch of white, racist slave traders, and so nothing they say should hold any value for us today. This desire to pick people out of any point in history and make them conform to the social standards of 10 minutes ago is historically ignorant, but it drives much of what we see today. Anyone with a dose of humility might recognize, yes, the generation of the founders had some blind spots, some of them severe, but so does every generation. There is no question that slavery is a blot on the founding of America. But to single the founders out for this is to ignore the entire world situation at the time. Slavery was not unique to the United States. It was, and really always has been, the default world situation. As my friend Oz Guinness has said, slavery is the norm, sadly, in human history. Abolition is the novelty. And yet the novelty of abolition is exactly what happened in America, as well as in the British Empire. The slave trade was a horrific evil, without question. But many of those founders had troubled consciences about slavery in a world that was completely untroubled by it. And it was their principles, based upon their Judeo-Christian worldview, that ultimately led to the abolition of slavery in America. Meanwhile, millions elsewhere, even today in 2023, still live in shadow slavery, often in Islamic nations. That's something you don't hear much about from those who gleefully attack American principles. The founders were very flawed people, of course, but so are we. What will future generations say about the abortion holocaust that's taken over 60 million lives in America? as many of our most prominent leaders supported, encouraged, and enabled it. No generation is perfect. Certainly not the current radicals who view the past with 2020 vision and yet send confused children for gender reassignment surgery, call the murder of millions of babies reproductive justice, force children through a failing school system, and muzzle free speech in the name of progress. The Founders' underlying principles brought us 200 plus years of liberty and prosperity such as the world has never seen. The principles of our elites today have brought us what we see on the news every day. Perhaps we should be paying more attention to our forebears and not less.